so many times when our finances seem to get quote unquote out of control, out of handle, out of touch to some degree, it's usually that we don't have a certain balance about us. Now, some of that balance could just be having a system or a plan in place for when money comes in, what do we do with it? But for some of us, that balance is taking a look at our lives and then taking a look at our finances and comparing what do we want our life to look like and how can our finances back that up? So quite simply, just like a financial plan is intended to do, it's just putting your life into action and your plan or your finances is just the funding, is just the tactical or part of the tactical doing of your life. Welcome to the Emmett Advisor Podcast. I'm Paul Morton, a certified financial planner professional. The Emmett Advisor Podcast exists to help busy professionals get an educated and clear vision about money. Talking about money is difficult enough as it is. Discover the confidence in creating a customized financial plan in a calm and casual environment. Not every professional should have the same financial plan. Everyone is different. Let's celebrate that. Every financial plan should be different too. Music used in this show is by the band Forum. Discussions in this show should not be construed as specific recommendations or investment advice. Always consult with your investment professional before making important investment decisions. Securities offered through Cambridge Investment Research Inc., a broker-dealer, member of FINRA SIPC. Advisory services offered through Cambridge Investment Research Advisors, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Cambridge and M Advisor are not affiliated. Welcome to the M Advisor Podcast. I'm Paul Morton. The M Advisor podcast comes out on payday, the 15th and 30th of each month. M Advisor helps physicians with their financial planning. Today I'm talking a little bit about balance and financial balance. And this is something that I'm sure I've talked about before, but it is something that, in my opinion, can't be overstated. So many times when our finances seem to get, quote unquote, out of control, out of handle, out of touch to some degree, it's usually that we don't have a certain balance about us. Now, some of that balance could just be having a system or a plan in place for when money comes in, what do we do with it? But for some of us, that balance is taking a look at our lives and then taking a look at our finances and comparing what do we want our life to look like and how can our finances back that up. So quite simply, just like a financial plan is intended to do, it's just putting your life into action in your plan or your finances is just the funding is just the tactical or part of the tactical doing of your life. So some of these things that you want to do might be travel, see different parts of the world or gain experiences in one way, shape or form, whether that be with a family, spouse, kids, start a business, start a clinic, whatever it may be, the things that you want to do are super important to creating balance because we get one life to live. And in my opinion, we should make it our own. And so some of the ways that we can get out of balance might be by saving too much or it could be not saving enough. And there's a balance in between that. So if we save too much, that sounds kind of weird, but we might be withholding in the fun and joy and experience creation of our lives. So it could be we don't go on vacation enough or we don't live in the present enough. We're constantly working. Maybe we're working and looking at the future too much. Conversely, not saving enough is pretty easy to figure out how that 
affects our financial plan and our livelihood. But at the same time, there is a time to save and a time to not save. So different seasons of our lives occur and money kind of ebbs and flows. And when it's time to save, it's time to save. And sometimes that time isn't in the present, even though we may want to save. It could be during like residency, fellowship, first couple years out of training, or it could just be a weird year in our lives where expenses could get out of control. And some of those expenses might be things like traveling and enjoying life. And that's fine as long as on the one side there is imbalance that occurs in our lives one way shape or form as long as on the other side of that you're able to balance back when we stay out of balance I feel that's when we get into maybe the most quote-unquote trouble in our financial plan where we're not able to really get a grip and and gain control over our finances. And there just seems to be very little steadiness and very little understanding about why we're doing what we're doing with our money. And there there are many ways or many areas of our lives where it's easy to get out of balance. For example, one of these areas is when we go buy a house. If we buy too big of a house and our house payment gobbles up so much of our income, then that will limit what we can do outside of living in that house. So if your goal is to travel a whole bunch, well, you bought a house that you really like to stay at and it's probably best that you stay around at the house if you can't afford to travel because you bought too big of a house. So these are the decisions that we really need to be looking at from a balanced approach. And I feel like it's important to either write down or discuss with family, friends, spouse, etc., What do you want to do in your life? And then use that conversation to define a balanced financial life. Not the other way around. Not how much do we want to save. Not the tactical financial planning exercises. But the the dreams about our lives. What we want to accomplish. What we want to do. What we want to experience. And then we use finances to fill that up and to make that occur and to support that. I think we are preached at, so to speak, by so many outside sources, talking heads, blog writers, pundits about what to do with our money and what makes a solid and sound financial plan when the reality is that your financial plan should support what you want to do in your life. There's no, this is the right way of doing it, and this is the wrong way of doing it. There's no one street or one road or one path that you follow. Your finances support what you want. And it's just kind of, odd to me that we have so many different opinions talked at us about what we should and shouldn't do with our money, where our money is really just there to do what we want to accomplish in our lifetime. And ultimately, that is a personalized and a customized financial plan when we have our money doing the things that we want and need it to do to support and create the life we want and we dream of. So with that, being in financial balance is something that is not a single 
item. It's not a single task. There are so many variations of balance. And there are so many decisions that we make on a consistent basis that can either put us in balance or knock us out of balance. But at the end of the day, when you look at it just right, we really kind of are just a culmination of the decisions that we've made for our lives. So making decisions and looking at our lives from maybe with a little bit of distance, because we are right there in our lives. Maybe if we just step back and analyze for a second, what do we want? What do you want? And then that might be one of the exercises that creates the idea of what balance should be in your life. Thank you for listening. I'm Paul Morton. This is the M Advisor Podcast. M Advisor helps physicians with their financial planning. You can visit m advisor.com for more content. You can ask questions there, schedule appointments. Until next time, I really appreciate you listening to the M Advisor podcast.